Hello everybody, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Python Plays Terraria Let's Play of Awesomeness. I don't know why I keep calling it that, but uh, oh well, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> oh my god. But yes guys, welcome back. This is the sixth episode, I believe, if my memory is not deceiving me. And what we are going to be doing in today's episode, my friends, is... We are going to hopefully be taking down the Eye of Cthulhu. Now, of course, we have 12 defense, but if we go ahead and put this on, we have 16 defense, which is a nice amount. But on top of that, you may remember in the last episode, we grabbed ourselves a whole bunch of platinum. Now, what I am hoping we'll be able to do with this is, you know, make a the old platinum pants. That'd be amazing. Of course, some silver bars as well. That's pretty interesting. Right, now, the furnace is out here. Oh, we don't have a great amount of time. Okay, it's already become a night time by the looks of it. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Is it is it 25 bars for the pants? i got a feeling it might be something like that. Uh, oh, it isn't. I think it's 30. Damn, I always forget that it, it's more expensive with platinum. Dang it, man. Okay, in which case we're going to make ourselves some silver ones, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's only a one defense increase, but you know what? It's still a defense increase, which is cool. I purposely want to keep behind some of the platinum uh, ore because I can make uh, Spelunker potions out of that, and that'd be very, very cool indeed. Good day to you, sir. I am going to sell that, and then at the same time, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of shurikens. Whole bunch of them. There we go, 999. Very cool amount. I mean, yeah, it's 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 all we have. Okay, so, two, sus two suspicious looking eyes. Oh, that's interesting. I thought we only had one. Huh. Okay. What else do we have? Swiftness potion? Yeah, might as well have that. Uh, night owl potion? Might as well. That's the reason why we shouldn't. Oh, we got a teleportation potion. This might be pretty cool for exploring a random location underground, maybe. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Right, it's a night time. Not just yet by the seams of it. Okay. Uh, javelins. Can we buy javelins? Ah, oh, man. For some reason, I've got a sneaky feeling you might be able to buy it from the little... The, the underground skeleton merchant guy? I don't know, that, that seems like it would make sense to me. Hmm. We could always use nades. You know, using nades is pretty fun. It does 60 damage. Wow. But at the same time, if we get caught within it, then uh, we're going to be done. I'm going to buy 50 of them. There we go. Alright, so, is it that time? Is it that time? No? Still not that time? I'll tell you, let's put some torches down, shall we? Just so we can see what is going down. Because, you know, being able to see is a nice uh, nice thing to have. Right, here we go. Boom. One up here, and then one just beside this pond over here. And obviously this is going to be like our island boundary. So, yeah. Okay, is it time yet? Nope. It's always more difficult to tell the time when it comes to it raining. Yeah, not the thing. Do we have an accessory which tells the time? We can make one. You know, we actually could, couldn't we? Hmm... We could make one. Okay, uh, do we have any chains? If not, then uh, a lead bar will do the job, I'm pretty sure. So let's go over here. Uh, we're going to make ourselves a chain. And then I believe we need to go over to a table slash chair. There we go. Platinum watch. Fantastic. So if I just put that there, uh, we can now tell the time. Awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, so can we now do it? The Eye of Cthulhu has indeed awoken. And buff. Here we go, friendos. Here we go. do 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 Get wrecked, sunshine! Come on! I love how these javelins actually sort of throw in a reasonably straight line. Have you guys noticed that? I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I love this! If I throw them directly up, they're just going to come back down and pwn his bum. <laughs> that's amazing! Ah, oh, Eye of Cthulhu bum. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Why did I even say that? I'm saying weird things today, my friends. I don't even know. Ah, go on, get wrecked, son! Do it! Get needed! Get needed. Yeah, well, well, I killed a servant, apparently. There we go. <laughs> oh, man, using nades is so fun. Here we go. Whee! There we go. Whee! Get wrecked. There we go. Oh, I love using nades, man. All right, come on. I want to try and kill him with nades. That'd be amazing. Here we go. He does have defense on his first, uh, on his first, uh, what am I trying to say? His first phase, I guess. That's something he does have. Oh, boy. Ooh. Careful, Python. Careful. Don't get cocky, buddy. There we go. If we just keep doing that, while he does his sort of lunge thing, we can do a nice amount of damage to him. Here we go. Boom. 
Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked, son. Boom. Come on. Come on, sunshine. Sunshine, lollipops, and rain. But why am I singing that song? I don't even know, man. Come on. Ah, needs. So satisfying to use. So. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> that was interesting. All right. Next one. Yeah, that's right. We're going to take down two because why the heck not? We don't have a. Oh, it shows on the map. Ooh. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we don't have a great deal of nades left, but we're going to use them anyway because, uh, you know, why not? And such. It seems you can't throw them very quick, so that's something we need to consider. Alright, we're now down to Shriekens, I guess. Uh, oh no, we've got Boomerang. Boomerang does more damage. There we go. Ouch. Come on, friendo. There we go. All the damage in the world. Fantastic. All the damage. I still want to try and get an ice blade. I don't know, man. We might be able to make the the, the blood butcher, which of course is the, is the crimson sword. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure the ice blade would still more damage, still do more damage per second because not only is it quicker, but it is fully auto swing. So I don't know, man. I still really want to try and get the ice blade. So we may go back down to the underground snow biome just in an attempt to try and find it. Because I think that'd be a very, very cool goal to go for, indeed. Right, here we go. Come on. There we go. Do, 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 do. Easy money. Ah, oh, let's just stick to the old Shurikens. There we go. I love it. I love it. Not only that, but they go straight through the servant. So the boomerang keeps getting caught on the little servant guys. Whereas the Shurikens just go straight through them. So, yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Got 57 Crimtain ore at this point, which is okay. No. I'll tell you one thing I would like to have happen. I'd quite like to have the slime rain event happen right now. Or at some point, because I like that thing. I love that event so much. It's a great way of getting the uh, the good old gel. And of course, King Slime sometimes naturally spawns. So, yep. Oh. Hey. Hi, hi. You did yet? Come on, friendo. Come on. There we go. Come on. Look at you, 527 health. What a joker. You're such a joker. I mean, I could have a great joke with you. Look at you. <laughs> ah, you did it, son. Come on. Ouchie. 27 damage. Holy... What? That's 27 damage and this isn't... 31? Blimey! This guy, even on normal mode, he has been buffed. 100% he has been buffed. The Art of Cthulhu's been buffed. Okay. That's interesting to know. Right. Okay. So, what have we got? 94 ore, which is a great amount, actually. It's a pretty good amount. 31. Not bad. Oh, we can make an upgraded yo-yo. Hey, look at this. Not bad. Okay. How much does that take? 12, 10, 10. We need 32. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we get 31. Do you know what? That's that's just a... Uh, that's, that's a bum. Why does that have to be the case? We always have to be like one short or something. That's so annoying. Right, bloodlust cluster. We're gonna need this anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna do, we're gonna make this thing. Oh, it's a good one. Look at that, godly. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, brilliant. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep that on moving to it. I'm gonna put that up here to replace the boomerang. And aside from that, everything else is pretty good, right? Yeah. I don't, see, I don't see why it shouldn't be good. Alright, let's go up here. Let's put some stuff away in the chests. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to the underground snow biome. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, uh, so we're going to grab that out, put that away. Uh, we'll keep the shine potions on us. Now, I'm pretty sure we've got a whole bunch of potion ingredients from the herb bags we've opened previously. So, moon glow is needed. We need the blinky plant. There we go. And, of course, some water bottles. There we go. And that should be enough, right? Uh, yep, there we go. All right, three of them. So we have 15 minutes of mining. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. That's really freaking good. Okay, uh, I'm going to chuck away this tin ore. I don't really want it, to be honest. There we go. And the rest of it's going to go in the uh, in the old chests. Chest of Rue. Okay, so, yep. You go in there, you go in there, you go there, uh, you go there. And aside from that, yeah. Everything's good. So, let's quick stack our money, and then what I shall do is I shall meet you guys back in the underground snow biome, but hopefully in an unexplored part of the underground snow biome, because then, yeah, hopefully we shall be able to find some more stuff. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys down there. 
Ooh, a loose bit of cream tain ore. Hell yeah. Okay, if I can find maybe a couple more of them, I might actually have enough bars in the finish to make the bloodlust cluster. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, we just got to hunt around for this thing. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, damn it. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who don't know, on the PC version uh, in 1.3, if you press F1, uh, it will bring up camera mode. So, uh, yeah, that's it's pretty cool. It's a nice feature. It's something I haven't really utilized just yet. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to utilize it once I have a cool building to show off or something. Right, okay, so we're pretty much at the place where we were at before, but what we're going to do is we're going to start exploring, like, more sort of over to the, sort of, the side, I guess? So we're going to start using a Spelunker Potion, and we are going to see just what kind of things we can find, I guess. So, yeah, here we go, guys! We're going to bomb the crap out of this place, Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the last of the gel. Oh, no, that's not good. We no longer have any gel left, so we can't make any more sticky bonds. Dang it! It would be awesome if we had enough, though, man. It would be awesome if we did have enough. Okay. Uh, that is amethyst. Okay. Uh, not really fussed about amethyst, to be honest. So, no worries there. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a non-dead Viking. Okay. Go, go, go! Bombs away! Go, friendo! Go, go, go! Oh, it's so good! Okay, uh, I can see a cave to my bottom right, but that's about it for things I can see. So we're going to try to go down to that cave. Maybe there's something else in there. Maybe it will lead us to many, many things. Indeed. All right, I'll tell you what, guys. I guess while we are doing this little bombing run, we can jump into the question of the video. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of Thomas Westman. Thomas Westman? I almost said your name wrong, I do apologise. But uh, his question is, which is your favourite mechanical boss in Terraria? Hmm. I think the Destroyer would have to be the answer. The, the Destroyer is the only mechanical boss you can defeat in less than a second with the right setup, the right weapons, and the right sort of sort of tips and tricks. It is so ridiculous how fast you can take down the Destroyer these days. It really is. And uh, as a result, that's that's why that's why I love the Destroyer, because he's just so easy to take down. He really is. As soon as you get, I don't know, if you get like a Nimbus Rod, you'll be good to go, man. You really will be good to go. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, uh, any chest to be seen? I want to get rid of the map, actually, just so I can actually see what's going down. Mm. But, yeah. Wait, is that a chest up there? Nope, it's not. Uh, ores, vases, okay, we're gonna go to the vases, looks like there's some gems over there as well, okay, sweet, but yeah, I'm gonna pass that question on to you guys, uh, which is your favourite mechanical boss in Terraria, leave your responses in the comments area below, and also, if you guys have any suggestions for the question of the video segment, then by all means leave them in the comments area below, and you will of course have a chance of yours being used, and your name shouted out, so yes, hello, hi, 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 Alright, you're all dead. I'm pretty sure I saw a bunch of ice. There is. This is like a mini biome, isn't it? Whee! Oh, God! That is dangerous. That's, that's very dangerous. <laughs> oh, it's so deceiving. You think you can land on the ice, but no, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna fall all the way through it, dude. Whee! Oh. Huh, interesting. Huh. So as soon as water hits it, it's alright. That's interesting. I did not know that. But now I do. Yay, learning things. I like learning things. It's good. All right, so uh, anything interesting going on? Oh, there's a heart over there. I will absolutely be having some of that. Yes, 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 yes. I would definitely like the heart. Oh, God. The joys of not having blooming sticky bombs anymore. You have to, like, really try to precisely aim where you put your bombs. All right, oh, God damn it. There's a bunch of bats. Damn, guys. Oh, I can see a chest up there. Sweet! We have our first chest of the episode, my friends. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to try and get up to it, my friends. Oh, we're going to have to dig up to it as well because we don't have sticky bombs. Do you know what? I should... Hmm. I think what I'll do from now on is I'll only use sticky bombs to stick them to the roof of things. I don't want to, like, stick them to the side of things because we can... Well, we can just precisely aim them and still get it right, right? But... In terms of the roof, you can't really stick them to the roof without any sticky stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be what I do from now on. Okay, sweet. So, let's roll over this way. I mean, it, it has to be a house, right? It is indeed a house. Okay. Sweet. All right, what have we got? <gasps> oh, a heart statue. Ooh. 
Very good. Very, very good. Okay, right. Is there going to be a sword in here? Oh, no, we got an ice boomerang. Not bad. It is an upgrade from the regular enchanted boomerang, so that's very cool indeed. All right, so let's break some of these up. Uh, I'm going to take this. Uh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take all statues. I always hoard statues on Terraria. I don't know why. I just sort of do. It's just something I do. It's something I do. Okay. Uh, mm. All right, let's bring up the map again. How's it looking? Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a little bit of the old bombing action here. Here we go. Ooh. Much bomb. Many wow. Okay. Uh, maybe we can continue bombing like right here. There we go. <laughs> Pro parkour skills, like a true professional. Oh, there goes our first Spelunker potion, which means we need to use another one. So, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. What I'll do is I shall continue onwards with the old bombing run, and I'll bring you guys back, hopefully, if we manage to find something cool. Ooh, I see me some more loose crimtain ore. Yeah! Awesome stuff. Okay, right, let's go ahead and bomb it, because obviously I can't mine at the moment. Oh, that didn't go quite well. <laughs> There we go, fantastic. That should now be enough to uh, to make the things that we want to make, basically. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's continue onwards. Oh, we have ourselves another house, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome stuff. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, yes, it's here. The ice blade. Oh, it's brilliant. It's only it's only a regular one, but it's still good. It's an increase in damage. And check this out. It's fully auto. It's so good. I love this weapon, man. It's so brilliant. Okay, uh, and we have ourselves another Eye of Cthulhu Summoner as well. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. Nice. Doing well. Doing very well indeed. In fact, we've managed to grab the things that we wanted from this place, basically. So, that's kind of cool. So, mission complete in terms of loot. I guess what we're going to do now for the most part is, uh, is searching for the old heart containers. And talking of which, there's one up here. Fantastic. Okay. That is 300 health. Ooh, 300 health. Very nice amount. Okay, uh, can I make it up there? I don't know, man. Maybe if I'm like a pro parkour guy, which unfortunately I'm not. Here we go. Uh, uh, yes, done it. I am so pro. Okay. Uh, eh, nothing too interesting. I'm not really looking for anything at this point. I don't think... I think we might be able to get away with using the armor we have for the Brain of Cthulhu. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't know if the Brain of Cthulhu has been buffed in 1.3 or no. Honestly, I have no idea. But uh, I guess we're going to find out at some point. But probably not in today's episode. Maybe in the next one or the one after? Not entirely sure yet. We haven't even explored the Underground Crimson just yet. There we go. Oh, it's such a good weapon. I love it so much. Ooh. A hoplite. Interesting. You're the guys with the javelins, right? Yeah? You're gonna give me javelins? No? Alright. So, if he spawned, then there must be a granite biome around, right? Not granite biome, marble biome. Alright. I have to try and find that. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you, you elusive bugger? I need to find you, and I need to kill everything that's within it. Because that's the only... Re oh, it's up there, it's up there. I see it! I see it! Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, slush. Yes, slush. Hmm, that would be a good thing to end the episode with, doing a big extractinating session of awesomeness. Oh man, this is fantastic. There's so much slush around here. Oh man. Alright guys, what's the bets that we'll be able to get the little dino buddy again? Or was it the amber mosquito thing? The thing that... Yeah, the, the thing that summons the little dinosaur, basically. We had it in our mage playthrough, and it was very, very cool indeed. I don't know, man. It's a, it's a slim chance again, it, but we it is possible. It certainly isn't impossible. Here we go. All the slush. There's so much slush. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. I'm loving the amount of slush around here, dude. Ha! <laughs> Look at it. There's so much. Okay. A uh, little clump here. I'm going to say that's the last clump. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, right. Now, we're going to go ahead and explore that little marble biome up top. So, let's do that. Let's just make our way up. Oh, great. This guy's going to knock us off. Damn jerk. <laughs> Why you do this? You can't just leave me alone, can you? No. You have, to, you have to stalk me, don't you? Right. Okay, we have one more Splunker Potion. Might as well use it. That's the reason why we shouldn't. Although, I imagine... We're going to fall victim to Medusa again. I don't want that to happen, obviously, but if it does, then... Oh, well. We... We... 
explored the place at least. Right. Huh. Doesn't appear to be anything overly interesting here, actually. Interesting. Alright, well, that was a bit of a disappointment. I was honestly thinking there would be something there, but uh, obviously not. Obviously not. At this point, I'm looking for hearts. But I don't think we're going to find a great deal of them. Maybe. I don't know. You never know it's about it. It's a very luck-based game, I feel. Uh, bird statue. I'm going to stack these two together. There we go. That'll do the job. Right. I'm literally just spelunking at this point. I'm not even trying to mine anything up or anything. Oh! Javelin guys! Oh, man. I need to be careful of them dudes. They'd be dangerous. Yes! He dropped some. 55 of them. Wow. Didn't realise just how many they dropped. It's craziness. Right, okay, uh, I think at this point, we're gonna call the mining session good. We've got 300 health, which is a ridiculous amount. It really is. It's a brilliant amount. It really is. Uh, we've got four minutes of this. I don't think we're really gonna need it, though. Unless there's more sort of surface chests that I haven't seen yet. In which case, awesome. But, you know, who knows. Right, okay guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base, I'm going to organise my inventory, and then we're going to time-lapse a bunch of extractinating, or whatever the hell you call that process technically, I don't know. So yeah guys, back in a moment. Alrighty guys, here we are back in action, and we are about to go ahead and create as many things as we possibly can, basically. Uh, unfortunately, we are one diamond away from being able to make a diamond hook, which is a bit of a... Pain in the bum. It would be really nice to have the correct amount, but oh well, you can't have everything in the world, can you? Okay, so, uh, aside from that, we've got a pretty decent amount of everything else, and if my memory serves me correct, I should be able to make a diamond staff, right? Ooh, check this out, man. Look at that. 23 magic damage? Damn! I'm definitely having that. Fantastic. Okay, uh, anything else? Anything else potentially? Mana crystals? Yep. That's one thing I managed to find quite a lot of, actually, on my journey back to the snow biome, or underground snow biome, is, yeah, quite a lot of these. So, yeah, up to 220 mana. Uh, can I go any higher? Was that it? Nope, that is it. Okay, and finally, the Bloodlust Cluster. There you go. Fan dabadozy. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so, let's go ahead and quick stack some stuff, and then we shall time-lapse the extracting. Alrighty guys, that's everything. We've got one gold, 75 silver out of that, and a whole bunch of other awesome stuff. Not bad. Not bad. Look at this. Amber. Amber is, of course, used to make crate potions, which is very, very cool indeed. And we've got gold and platinum for more Spelunker potions in future. Nice. Nice, 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 and nice. Okay, so in the next episode, we're probably going to be making some more NPC houses, because we're going to need them... You know, for things like the arms dealer, he's going to be pretty useful. And, you know, maybe some other NPCs as well. So, yeah, aside from that, I think we're pretty much good to go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like rating. It'll be much appreciated. And, of course, you guys can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.